Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We are one week away from the Tennessee Youth Turkey Hunt. Man, it's a good time. I'm out here. We were able to secure permission to hunt on my neighbor's property again this year. This is the property that comes in behind me. And I'm walking through the area where I shot my turkey on opening day last year. So I shot it right over here in this large oak flat. So you can, I'll link to that video here in just a little bit. I'm over here just scouting around, checking things out, getting ready, try to find where I'm going to take my son, see if I can figure out where the turkey's been roosting, just doing some, you know, week out scouting here. And uh, I was actually over here the other day too. And if you remember from last season's videos, on two different occasions, first time was, I believe it was the Sunday of opening weekend, and then the weekend after that, I had trespassers right here behind me hunting. And on that first day, they shot five times just right here about 150 yards behind me. And they were yelling back and forth at each other, did you get him, did you get him? That was pretty hair raising to have all that going on right here so close to me. And these guys did not have permission to be in here. Well, then a week or two later, I can't remember exactly when it was, I was hunting in a different section of this property here and somebody fired off at a bird, shot at, shot at a bird that I was calling into me. It was coming in from behind me. I'm guessing it was probably between 75 and 100 yards away just gobbling its head off and somebody blasted a shot off right behind me and I'm not gonna lie, it scared me half to death. I, I almost had to go home and clean my drawers out because I was not expecting a gunshot that close to me. So I was over here walking around just checking things out the other day and guess what I came up on? I found a trespassers trail camera and bait pile up here on property they're not supposed to be on. So I confiscated the camera, took it back to the house, contacted the uh, local game warden and let him know and now I'm on my way up here now to leave him a love note. I may come up and put some more no trespassing signs out. I may bring up some purple paint and spray the trees in the area because Tennessee does have a purple paint law. Basically any tree or anywhere that you've sprayed purple paint is a uh, no trespassing, no hunting indicator. So let's go see what we can find up here. See if we can find out where these turkeys, there's a little bit of scratching in here but nothing like what it was last year. I know I haven't heard any gobbling over here. It's been really eerily quiet so far this year, but maybe we'll stumble into something, who knows. Man, my legs are burning today. I mean, first of all, I love this place over here. This big pasture field, which, you know, some people don't really care about hunting over pasture fields. The turkeys use this a lot. They come out here and they strut right up here on this big bench i'm walking out they come out here and strut my legs are killing me i got up this morning and went outside i don't have a home gym i have my farm so i threw a big cedar log on my on my shoulders and just walked around the yard there with it and did some squats and stuff that's before i knew i was going to come walk back up here bad idea i should have waited and done that tomorrow all right, I just crested the top of this little flat here. This big, this big bench goes out here and drops off. In, in a couple of the videos from last season, my son and I were hunting right up here just over it. And we had a, we had a long beard down here strutting. I just crested this top right here. And a flock of, looked like hens mainly. Just, they didn't, they didn't really spook, but they took off walking out the other way out through there. So while I'm not seeing a lot of sign in here, there's a couple of manure piles that have been flipped over, but there's not a whole lot of scratching right here in this spot like there was last year. The turkeys are using just over there in the woods. So that's a good thing. Well, I left the uh, baiting trespasser, a little love note there. Just thanking him for the free trail camera. And letting him know that TWRA has been notified with the GPS coordinates of where it was located along with the bait pile. So we'll see 
We'll see if he gets it. We'll see if he checks his camera before season starts. If not, then uh, I don't know. I may be hunting up here on top on opening morning just to see if I can catch a trespassing poacher. I almost think I'd rather do that than shoot a bird on opening morning. Not much more pisses me off than a poacher, trespasser. Honestly, a lot of things piss me off. <laughs> I'm not, not going to lie. I deal with trespassers and poachers every year, but I also have to clean up litter where people throw their drink bottles and drink cans out on the side of the road around our farm as well and dumpers people throw their garbage out on the, on the farm so yeah I'm not gonna lie a lot of things piss me off a lot of entitled pricks out there I know that sounds pretty bad but once you put up with enough people like that you, you your opinion tends to get skewed I thought I saw a turkey over there but it's not it's just a stump I see my neighbor's over here working in his orchard. I'm supposed to go help him here after work today. Not work today, I'm sorry. After I get done with other stuff, I'm supposed to go help him out in his orchard. Prune, pruning his peach trees and stuff. He's got about 150 peach trees. So I'm going to be over there. He's giving me permission to hunt on his other farm as well. So speaking of, I've got my farm. I've got my dad's farm. Uh, my uncle's farm who... He always gives me permission. I haven't asked for this year, but it won't be a problem once I ask. He'll he'll say it's okay. Another neighbor down here has given me permission on his 12 acres. It's really small, but it's kind of in the middle of some other strategic property. And I've got this farm that this neighbor gave me permission on. And then another farm that's the next valley over. Um, that individual owns a sizable chunk of land over there. And she's uh, given me and my, my kids permission to go hunt on a portion of it. I'm hoping to go over there one day this week and go check it out. Because I've never stepped foot on her property anywhere. So it's all going to be totally new to me. So a lot, of, a lot of options this year. I got drawn on a public land quota hunt. In the same WMA that I got drawn on last year. And then I've also got a buddy um, coming down from Kentucky that... We're going to try to get together on another public land hunt here just north of, of the farm here. And if that doesn't work out, we may just come to the farm and see if we can get him a bird over here on the farm. Looking forward to a good turkey season. Turkey Journal will be starting up here in about a week. And uh, do my best to try to keep up with it and have the videos rolling out as, as quick and as freshly as I can. So we're probably going to do some gun patterning here before long. And then I may get another scouting trip in or two before season opener anyway stick around hope you enjoy and uh, get out there good luck this season if you get out take a kid hunting and just stay safe and god bless